So, we saw a, an introduction to data sets, importance of crunching data sets and thankfully as I said we are in an era where a lot of data sets are available and we, can, and we can try to make sense out of it. But there are times when we may have to not worry so much about data sets to unravel some mysteries of networks in general. I am going to teach you right now in the forthcoming few lectures on how one can actually keep aside data sets and look at graphs in general and make sense out of it. So, what we will do is we will revisit our age old puzzle which we have been talking from a long time of how does a graph become connected, why is it that almost always a graph is connected in the real world. Given a classroom of 100 people as friendships start happening, when will you observe the graph becoming connected? Will it at all become connected? What if there is a bunch of people this side, a bunch of people this side such that nobody knows each other across where friendships only happen within. What do I mean by this? By this I mean the following. Assume this is my classroom and a classroom full of some let us say 100 people, let me call this 100 people. And you look at the friendships between them, some random friendships like this, friends with him, friends with him, friends with him, etc. Will you see a bunch of people this side, a bunch of people this side, where connections are only within, there are no connections across. Can this even happen? Let me give you an intuition. By looking at a similar example, look at this, assume I am giving you a shooting target. By a shooting target, I mean I will give you a gun and ask you to shoot within this square only, within this rectangle only. You can go on shooting as many bullets as you want, right? But then I will give you one quadrant of this rectangle. Let us say this is one fourth of the total rectangle, correct? In this one fourth of this rectangle, smaller rectangle, your bullet will definitely fall. Unless you aim really well, you are a great archer, you, you may not throw your arrows um, uh, only in a particular place. The assumption here is that you are shooting uniformly at random. You are blindfolded and you are simply shooting and all your bullets assumingly are coming within this rectangle, I will ask you how many bullets came here. Let us say you shoot 100 bullets, how many of those bullets came and fell here? If you are shooting uniformly at random, is not it very obvious that this captures one fourth the total area. So, one fourth the bullet should come and fall here, right. If you are shooting 100 bullets, 25 bullets should fall inside, okay. Can it so happen? It is very straightforward an illusion, uh, intuition for all of us. Can it so happen that none of the 100 bullets fell inside this and all of them fell outside this? Let me remind you, you are not shooting it with any intent, you are uniformly at random shooting at it. You are blindfolded, you cannot see where to shoot, you just hold a rifle and then keep shooting. It is very unlikely that no bullets come inside. Let me write that down, very unlikely that this, that this place has no bullets at all, no bullets hitting. Is not this very unlikely? It is very unlikely, correct? Now, if you have this intuition, 
I am going to ask you a question on this which is exactly the same as this observation. Now, what do I mean by that? If I take 100 friends, 100 people, they are not friends, 100 people, okay. Let me say 70 people are this side, 30 people are this side, totally there are 100 people, total possible friendships, total possible friendships is clearly 100 choose 2 as you all know, 100 choose 2 which is roughly 100 square by 2, 100 square by 2, okay. It is actually 100 into 99 by 2 for you know from day 1 I have been writing it as 100 square by 2 because 99 can be seen as 100, it is almost close to 100. So, there are total number of friendships which is 100 square by 2 which we all know is 5000. These are the total possible friendships out of which there are some friendships within within there are some friendships across. Let me see how many friendships are across. Across friendships are simply 70 into 30, 2100, right. What do I mean by this? Let us take a pause and understand what I have done so far. Total possible friendships are 5000, but the friendships across are 2100 in number. Now, what am I saying? Here is a situation where there was a possibility for people to make 5000 something friendships and every single friendship that they chose did not fall into this, did not fall into the across friendship. There were so many possible ways in which they could have had an across friendship, okay. They did not, all of them fell within only, this is very unlikely. The intuition is this, do you see this is roughly half of this, this is roughly half of this. There are uh, let us say uh, 20 balls in a basket, 10 black, 10 white, you pick some balls from this basket, all of them are black we are picking them uniformly at random and all of them are black, is this even possible? It is not possible, it is it's, it's not impossible, it is improbable. So, I repeat, if you take a bunch of 100 people and look at friendships, it is very unlikely that there are no friendships across because a whole lot of possibilities for that to happen and you are saying none of these possibilities happen. So, what did I just say? Let me connect the analogies properly. When you start putting a lot of edges, it is as good as you choosing the edges. Out of 5000 edges, you are choosing some edges. Half the edges are between and when you are choosing, none of these edges are chosen. Half the edges are across between, you chose not to touch even one of them and you are picking the edges. Look at the analogy I gave you of the um, basket and balls. There is a basket full of balls, half of them are black, half of them are white. You blindfold yourself and then pick and you see that all the balls that you are picking are all black. It is unlikely when you are blindfolded you should pick uniformly at random, white has to come somewhere. So, the black balls, all the balls here are all the edges here, the white balls are the edges across and the black balls are the edges within. Edges across are roughly half the total number of edges. Black balls are half the total number of balls. White balls is half the total number of balls. But you, when you are picking, you are only picking black balls, you are not picking white balls and you are blindfolded. Look, this is very unlikely. I am just using the same argument to say, look, this is very unlikely that you have two components most of them are um, uh, uh, out of 5000, half of them are across and you are not choosing even one of them, right. Same thing here, one fourth of the place is this part and all your bullets are not falling here, it is falling outside this only, that is unlikely. 
some bullet should fall here, some ball should be white, some edge should be across. That is the intuition that when you create a graph, you cannot see two compartments like this when you have sufficiently many edges. So by sufficiently many edges, I mean when you pick one ball, it can happen, it can so happen that it is black only. Second ball can be black only. When you pick some 50 balls, all of them being black is very unlikely. So, when you put a lot of edges, all these edges being within this only is very unlikely. 